you here tomorrow night. yourself a scary little Christmas. Good evening. Welcome once again to Fright Night Theater. I'm your host, Creepmeister Maximus Whitey Gleason. By the way, thanks to Dave and Lois for another fine introduction. I kind of get the impression Dave's making fun of us. You get that impression? Maybe I have to send him a creepy cup or something. You know, Lois and I are kind of tight. Maybe Dave is just jealous. I don't know. Anyway, we're brought to you tonight by KRXQ 93 Rock. Also brought to you by The Shop in Roseville. Yes, Skate and Hobbies. Big grand opening up there in Roseville. So you want to go up there and tell them why he sent you, and they'll say, who? A movie I'm very pleased to show you tonight, Randy Quaid, Mary Beth Hurt in Parents. Uh, I like this film because it's one in which what is suggested is much more terrifying than what is actually shown. That is, until the climax, which is very terrifying. And then there's an added little twist at the very end that really drives the point home. Parents is a story of a young boy who is troubled by suspicions that his parents eat the most horrible thing you can imagine. Yeah, airline food. <laughs> I'm kidding. I just don't want to spoil any of the surprises for you. And there are plenty of them in parents. You want to stay with this, with this one all the way through because the big payoff is at the very end. Another reason you want to stay with us all the way through tonight is because we're giving away the official Creepmeister Fright Night t-shirt. A t-shirt I've worn here for the last three years. Ooh, might have to have that one washed. But uh, anyway, somebody's going to win that tonight. We're going to play Guess the Bogus B-Movie Title 2. And since it is the season to be jolly and all that, we're going to start decorating the old Fright Night Christmas twig. I got the decorations down today. Yeah, and all these decorations people sent me, like uh, Teresa Robinson from Lathrop sent me this last year. And, of course, Randy Davis sent me the King Kong. I'm hoping you might send me some decorations this year. We'll talk about that more tonight. But first, let's get to parents right here on Fright Night Theater. Have yourself a scary... The following program may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Bright Night Theater creates uh, Parents, a movie that is considered a black comedy. Can you believe that? I don't think it's that funny, but I do enjoy the movie. Uh, by the way, brought to you again tonight by The Shop in Roseville, big grand opening weekend. It's another satisfied customer. Uh, parents starring Randy Quaid, who, uh, as you may know, just played Frankenstein's monster in the TNT version of Frankenstein. And I'll tell you, Randy Quaid gets very monstrous towards the end of tonight's movie. Like I said, you want to stay with this one all the way through, because at the end, man, it is weird. All right, now it's time to give away the old Creepmeister Maximus T-shirt, the T-shirt I've worn here on the show for the last couple of years. It's like a security blanket to me, and I hate to give this away, but uh, we decided to do it since I got a new shirt. A lot of people wrote in this week telling me why they are worthy of my T-shirt, and uh, it's hard to decide who to give it to here. Ed McDowell says he should get the shirt because he sat through tentacles and squirm and frogs, food of the gods, Ben, the nest, dead heat, chud. Man, Ed, not even I sat through food of the gods, and I was hosting that sucker, so Ed certainly is deserving. Uh, Franny from Antioch says, I just want to hear my name on TV, and I should get the shirt because my dog ate all my clothes. So, you know, Franny is deserving. Patrick O'Connor says, I want the shirt because I thought I'd have better luck with you than I've had with Regis and Kathy Lee. <laughs> Patrick probably should be writing for the show. He's deserving. Kelly and Carl say, hey, we're the only ones dumb enough to stay up and watch all of your movies. And I'm finding Kelly and Carl, that's not quite true. There are a lot of people just as dumb as you who watch the, all the movies. Jean Trapp, it's her birthday on December 9th, so she's deserving. And Casey Hope sent me this weird spider tray thing that I'll try to show you later on. So Casey is deserving. Nadia Hamadas, she writes these long letters. She's deserving. Jamie says, I'm worthy. I'm deserving just because I am. I promise. You have to take my word for it. Jamie, I'm afraid I don't have to take your word for it. The winner, though, of the T-shirt, Heather Dyke, who says, I'm so scary looking that I would make a great advertisement for the show. And that's great logic. Heather Dyke, the winner of the official Creepmeister Maximus Whitey Gleason T-shirt. Wear it with pride, Heather. We're going to play Guess the Bogus B-Movie title next break. Now let's get back to more Randy Quaid, Mary Beth Hurt, and Parents. How come you're so tall? I was left back. Welcome back to Friday Night Theater. Creepmeister Maximus Whitey Gleason tonight. Parents starring Mary Beth Hurt and Randy Quaid. 
Mary Beth Hurt, you might remember from the world according to Garp. And uh, what do you think? You think these people really are cannibals tonight? Huh? Oh! Oh, this is disgusting. Ah, I don't want pickles on this. There, that's that's better. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a little tough, and besides, it's rude to eat in front of people. Uh, forgive me. Right now, it's time to play Guess the Bogus B-Movie title, and we have to wrap up uh, our previous edition, which we played, I think, actually, was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Paula Spillard says the bogus B-Movie title, the one I made up, was Gourmet Zombie Chef from Hell. Well, Paula, that's an actual B-Movie, so you don't win. I'm sorry. Thanks for playing. Lillian Wong says the B-Movie title, the one that I made up, is Mama Dracula. Nope, Lillian, that actually is a real B-Movie. So the winner is Paul Palms. He had won previously, but he's the only one who got this right. He knew that the B-movie title that I had made up, the bogus B-movie title, was Man Eating Mannequins Massacre. Yeah, Paul Palms, the winner from previous edition, guess the bogus B-movie title. We're gonna play again. Here's how you play. Here's the address you write to. All right, I'm gonna read you here three B-movie titles. One of them is bogus, one of them I made up. You write to me, you let me know which one you think I made up, and you can win a Fright Night keychain, perhaps a Creepy Cup too. Okay, now here come the three titles in question. Which one did I make up here? Title number one, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Number two, The Vending Machine Vampire. <laughs> yeah, right, The Vending Machine Vampire. Or title number three, They Saved Hitler's Brain. They Saved Hitler's Brain. Can you guess the bogus B-movie title? Remember, in case of a tie, you have to tell me why you should win. So I look forward to receiving your entry here. Now let's get back to more. Randy Quaid, Mary Beth Hurt, Parents, uh, Bright Night Theater, going up at the... Oh. Strike and Rich. And in Strike and Rich. Funny business. Whitey Gleason tonight, parents. Isn't this a disgusting movie? Okay. Ah, makes me hungry. Yeah, but it is a disgusting movie. Sandy Dennis is the woman who plays the counselor. Boy, she gets it in the end. I don't want to say anything. Boy, wait till you see what happens to her. I want to take just a moment to thank some of the people who wrote to me. We get so much mail here. I can't mention uh, all the letters all the time, but uh, Tisha Gold, very nice letter. Thank you, Tisha. Also, Hideous Heather Hope. Ooh, that's pretty frightening there. Deneen Esty, very nice letter. Very nice stationery, Deneen, and I always appreciate that. Also, Tony from Stockton wrote, and um, lots of people. AJ wrote to me here from Sacramento. And you know what? Last few years, people have been sending us little ornaments for our Fright Night Christmas twig right here. For example, uh, let's see, who's this from? This is from Matthew Robinson, who was four years old when he sent us his, this. It says, Merry Scary Christmas. Has an honored place on our Christmas tree twig. And we got lots of weird stuff here. A little, I don't know who sent this, but uh, I love to put this on the tree every year if I can find a place for it. Anyway, what do you think? You think you could send us a, a creepy ornament for the, for the holiday season? Well, here's the address once again. You send me your weird ornament. I'll put it, uh, put it on the tree here, get your name on the air, and we'll get you, if we can, a, a creepy cup and a keychain. And again, that's also the address to write to if you want to play Guess the Bogus B Movie title. Titles in question this week, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the Vending Machine Vampire, They Saved Hitler's Brain. Can you guess the bogus B-movie title? If you can, you can get some neat stuff. So hope to hear from you here. By the way, speaking of Christmas, Nadia Hamada's wrote and said, hey, what's the movie on Christmas this year? Because Fright Night is on Christmas. It's going to be Scrooge, the greatest ghost story of all time. So it's going to be a very scary Christmas right here Fright Night. Now let's get back to parents on Fright Night Theater. Meister Maximus Whitey Gleason, named Bob Balaban, of course, immortalized in the song, Bob, 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 Bob Balaban. <laughs> I, I promised you earlier I would try to show you what Casey Hope sent, and here it is, a holiday platter of spiders. Oh, boy, it wouldn't be the holidays without a platter of spiders, would it? Thank you very much, Casey Hope. He's the freak of the year, and he certainly lives up to that title by sending us this thing, whatever it is. I want to take a moment to thank some of the other people who wrote to us. Pat Callahan says, Whitey, if there wasn't Fright Night, I'd have to get up early and go to church on Sunday. So glad we can help you out, Pat Callahan. Also heard from uh, Poor Guy Zhang, better known as Rocky. Very nice letter from Poor Guy Zhang. And Gene wrote to us, too. And so did Marty Chana from uh, Sacramento. And I hope to hear from you this week. Here's the address once again for you to write to. I, I kind of hope you'd send me a Christmas ornament for the old Fright Night Christmas twig. If you do, I'll mention your name on the air, and we'll show the ornament on the air, and we'll put it on the twig here. And also, you can win a Friday Night Creepy Cup keychain by playing Guess the Bogus B-Movie title. Once again, quickly, the three titles in question here. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Mm. The Vending Machine Vampire. 
and they saved Hitler's brain. Can you guess which one of those I made up? If you can, you can win some neat stuff from us. See you next week for Return of the Living Dead, which is kind of a spoof of the Living Dead movies. Pretty funny, a little bit scary, too. And speaking of scary, let's get to the shattering conclusion now of Parents right here on Fright Night Theater. Might want to grab a snack before the end of this one. Uh -oh. mm. Michael, are you... Good evening. Welcome once again to Friday Night Theater, where the news comes first. <laughs> Okay, off to a bad start. I'm your host, Creepmeister Maximus Whitey Gleason, brought to you tonight once again by KRXQ 93 Rock, my day job. I want to thank everybody who's been sending us uh, ornaments for the Fright Night Christmas twig. Got some cool stuff. I'll give you a look at that. But first, I want to let you know about tonight's movie, The Prey. This is the story of some teenagers. They're hiking in the Rockies, but something is stalking them. Something is after them. And I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you it's not human, and it has an ax. Okay, some of you are saying The Prey. I've never heard of this movie. Why should I watch? Well, I'll tell you, The Prey, when it came out in 1980, uh, it swept the Academy Awards. Yeah, it won all the major Oscars. You might not have heard about that because of the anti-horror bias in Hollywood. And, of course, The Prey, all-time box office champion. I think it grossed like $500 million when it was released. So I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Maybe you were busy that summer. And who's in this movie? Well, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I seem to remember, uh, like, Redford, Newman, Michelle Pfeiffer... Schwarzenegger, some big stars in The Prey tonight. I, I made some of that up, but Jackie Coogan is in it. You remember him, Uncle Fester? Yeah, so actually not a bad movie for a slasher movie. A lot of fun, surprise ending in The Prey tonight. Also, we're going to play Guess the Bogus B-Movie title, so it should be a fun show. The Prey, right here on Fright Night Theater. Early for Santa. Gleason just going to work here on the old Christmas twig and I got a real special ornament here I want to make sure you get a good look at this in a little bit just had to get that down the prey tonight have you noticed I noticed this on prom night when the producers have an actor who's maybe in his 20s and they want to make him look like he's a teenager what do they do they grow his hair out and they make him wear shirts that are way too small you know and they walk around like this and they're supposed to look like they're growing young boys and they look like geeks I'll tell you whatever that thing is it has an axe in this movie that's who I'm rooting for, because these teenagers are about as obnoxious as the kids on Barney. Right now, it's time to play Guess the Bogus B-Movie title. We played last week. I'll announce last week's winners in our next break. But it's time for another edition. Here's how you play. First of all, the address that you write to. And what I'm going to do here is give you three B-Movie titles. One of them I made up. The other two are true. If you can guess which one I made up, why, well, you can win a Fright Night keychain and Creepy Cup. Beautiful Christmas package we're offering. And, of course, uh, you have to let me know why you should win in case of the tie, okay? So the tiebreaker, why should I give the prizes to you? The titles in question this time we have, number one, Please Don't Eat My Mother. Please Don't Eat My Mother. You think that's a real one? How about number two here, Punk Rock Cannibal Cruisers. Punk Rock Cannibal Cruisers. Didn't we show that on Friday night once? Mm, I don't know. And finally, number three, The Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. The Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. Can you guess the bogus B-movie title? If you can, wow, write to me, and uh, you could win a Friday Night Keychain and a Creepy Cup, too. Now, before we get back to the prey, I want to give you a look at this ornament that Kevin sent to us. This is really bizarre. Looks like uh, it's a couple of jaws from a couple of different animals, and uh, the eyes in there, this is one of the most amazing ornaments I've ever received. <laughs> now, let's get back to the prey on Friday Night Theater. Ow, jeez. What do you think we should do? The Creepmeister Maximus, Whitey Gleason, tonight the prey. Hey, stick around for the end of this, because it's really weird. Now, last time we showed it, I fell asleep before the end, but I understand a really strange ending here, bizarre twist to the ending. You know, we get a lot of mail here. How do we think everybody who writes to us? It's difficult. So what we've done here is come up with the old screaming scroll. Remember this? This is just our way of saying thanks to all the people who write to us. I now present the Fright Night Screaming Scroll. Here it comes. Watch out. It's kind of scary. Oh, kind of terrifying. While we're enjoying that, Boy, I could sit here and watch this all day. Uh, while we're enjoying that, let's wrap up last week's edition of Guess the Bogus... Did that say Long Necker? Guess the Bogus B-Movie title. Kevin Alvarado and Jason White thought the Bogus B-Movie title last week was Shirley Thompson versus the Aliens. That's a real movie title, an Australian film, so you guys don't win. Hunter Hill thought the Bogus B-Movie title was Umu Umu the Shark God, and who could blame him? 
Hunter even made an Umu Umu the Shark God ornament for our tree. Uh, going far beyond the Call of Duty there, but Hunter, that's an actual movie. I